All right, guy post eight is importance. Importance. You'll often hear this as um, uh, with certain acting coaches of the idea of raising the stakes or um, yeah. Stella Adler said uh, no film or play ever happens on an ordinary day. Mm -hmm. It's always something extraordinary. And yeah, you can make it ordinary and bland, but I don't know if that's the, the most exciting thing to watch. And, and I think Tom had reminded us like, or, or maybe Stella Adler reminded people like, if people just wanted to go see everyday normal people, you would just go and pay money to sit in a coffee shop and people watch, uh, which is nice. But when you look at and think of your favorite performances in TV and film and theater, they're extraordinary performances in the highest of stakes situations. Either there's a ticking clock or there's some really heavy leverage that makes this important, mm -hmm. or it's a, a massive opportunity. And the highest stakes, the reason that we fucking love murder and murder shows and murder podcasts is because as a human being, life and death is the highest stakes that there is, uh, especially when that life and death is uh, the life and death of a loved one or of a child or a parent or a pet, for example. Like, Think about what you would do. Uh, how important is something when your life depends on it versus when it's just ho hum, ho dr drum, like um, mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, and th that's a like, um, like conflict and relationship. I mean, all the guideposts are important, but this is one where it's an easy direct to be like, you need to care about this more. And that that's, that's what we see a lot. It's like, it's not, it's not compelling on camera to see someone that is um, uh, apathetic or cynical or lazy or just like, oh, it doesn't seem, I mean, there's certain comedic things you can do where you're like, oh, I'm the, I'm the lazy cashier and I'm, and I'm droning on and I, I sound very bored, but generally watching a bored person isn't exciting. So what can you do to raise the stakes, to raise the importance, to really realize what are you fighting for? And it, and it does go hand in hand. Guidepost two being conflict. What yeah. are you fighting for? How are you meddling? Guidepost eight is importance. So if you jack up importance, then all of a sudden you got to fight a little harder for it because this is a life and death scenario. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you can say about uh, importance? It also uh, informs lists. It, there's a lot of scenes where you'll you'll get a list of something right. and you're you're saying, oh, I'm going to the store and I need to get a camera and I need to get lights and I need to get a fan or I, and I need to get a printer. Um, but it, the more some of those things are more important to you to get and some of them are less important for you to get. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to the store, Lars, and I'm going to get a camera. I definitely need a camera and I need some lights. I need some new lights. Uh, and if I can, I'll, I'll maybe find a fan or something. Maybe. I'm not sure. Right. And, and if a printer's on sale, I wouldn't mind getting a new printer. And right. like, so there's importance. There's degrees to it. Um, right. And I just think it's wonderful. The more you work with the guideposts, the more you find that they're really interwoven with each other. Like of course. As, as much as importance is related to conflict, what am I fighting for? How am I meddling? It's also really related to relationship as well. Right. right. Because like some relationships are more important to us, even right. in a, one given circumstance than the next. And like, how does that affect you? Uh, Tom always says, what is your relationship to everything? Right. Right. Yeah, like to think about the difference of like the love of your life, the person that you're like, this is the one. If you're in that scene where you need to convince her to not get on that plane or to get on that plane with you, the difference of this is my one true love of my life and I got to fight like fuck to, to, uh, to get them to see things my way versus, oh, this is, this is someone that I've dated and uh, let's see where it goes and I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe I like her, maybe I don't. Like that's it's not as important. There's a there's a great line from uh, Shirtlift's audition book, which we highly recommend you buy. Um, uh, it's an he says it's important for an actor to realize that what he must use in his acting is the opposite of what he has been trained to in life to seek. In life, peacefulness and the avoidance of trouble uh, won't help you in your acting. I mean, in life, that's great. We all you want to be peaceful. You want to be calm. You want to be and collected and and unflappable 
Um, but in acting, you want to seek the opposite. So you want to be seeking danger and seeking importance and seeking situations that do really strongly activate you, either make you fight more or make you angry or make you sad or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. just raising the stakes to be like, this really fucking affects me versus in life. Maybe you want to get to that Zen state where nothing really affects you. Um, but that's boring on camera unless your role is to be a Buddhist monk and just sit there deadpan. Um, <laughs> then, then you want to see people, you, you want people to see how affected you are and how you can affect other people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love that one. Important. So just yeah. easy, easy thing is just make this more important. Care more is kind of the thing. Care more. Like, and even if it's things that seem silly, like the lasagna that you're making, make that las or, or that you're tasting at a restaurant, make that lasagna the best fucking lasagna that you've ever tasted in your life. Yeah. This is, oh, this is good lasagna. Unless there's a comedic reason that you're, that you got to be playing at laissez faire and, and yeah. bored like that. That's different. But generally, mm -hmm. like, really love stuff, really hate stuff, make it, make things polarizing um, and, and make them important. Um, mm -hmm. And instantly that can transform, that'll transform how you feel as a human being uh, in the moment as the actor and, and as the, as the character. And, and then that will translate to the audience too. Cause they're like, like imagine, and here's a good example too. And it kind of leads back to communication and competition. Imagine you watch the tennis match where neither of them cared about the outcome. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of rally is that going to be? There's not going to be a rally. It's going to be the guy serves and then the ball hits the back of the court and the guy doesn't mm -hmm. even move for it. And yeah. then the other guy serves and the other guy doesn't move. And you're like, why the hell did I pay to come watch two people that don't give a shit about what they're fighting for? Uh, so it's like, but you take those two people and both of them are broke. Both of them, uh, they're both of their families are in financial trouble and this is for the championships of the world and there's a 10 million dollar prize attached to it then how are those two people going to fight and communicate yeah. and play that game and then how are you as the audience member going to watch that you're going to fucking you're going to be on the edge of your seat like holy shit these guys are leaving it all out on the table they're fighting for this uh, because it's important